What's up everybody? Thanks for tuning in for another video here at Domestic Automotive Authority. Today I've got some pretty exciting news for you. Um, I actually just ordered one of the first Wrangler Rubicon 392s, uh, I think, in the nation. So if you guys will sit with me here for a little bit, I'll show you all the standard features that come on this, some of the options that I did add to it, and we'll speculate on what the price may be. Keep in mind, I ordered it at all zeros. So we'll see how this thing goes. All right, guys, so to just get started here, I wanted to go over the list of what my order list looks like. Now, keep in mind, I just ordered it this morning, so uh, you can tell here, it still shows the pending order. Just got the sheet off the printer here, and I wanted to show you guys exactly what it looks like. So, as you can tell right here, uh, the JLJX74 is what the 392 package is, and it comes with the uh, customer preferred package 27X which comes with all their standard features. Now, in there is the 6.4 liter SRT Hemi. Of course, we all know it's MDS engine. Eight speed auto, eight HP 75 trans. Not sure why it says by Germany. It's a little strange, but uh, to go on, I ordered mine in Sting Gray clear coat, just like my Wrangler Rubicon right now. I got the monotone paint, leather trim bucket seats, black, which are standard options. I got the integrated off-road camera added in. And I got the 285-70R17C OWL, which are actually the uh, BF Goodrich KO2s. And then I got the Mopar Satin Black Grill added in, aside from the standard features, the Mopar all-weather floor mats. I actually ordered it with the trailer tow package. And aside from that, that's really about it. Now, if you were to look at this list on you know, any other vehicle, it would look like a pretty standard, a very standard vehicle but in this one it's not the case um and as you can tell here there are no prices next to this so actually whenever i got the email or actually my gm got the email that we could go ahead and place an order uh within the next you know five ten minutes we went ahead and placed our order very very quickly and like i said this one is for me but it's a little sketchy ordering one whenever you don't know the price didn't even show prices next to the options a base price anything so we just kind of shot from the hip here and we're going to see where it lands so i printed off the standardized features on this uh 392 rubicon and i wanted to go through them with you now a lot of these are standard uh features on a lot of the rubicons so i'll try to hit most of the high points here um obviously 120 mile an hour speedometer that's the same as what we have now i believe actually i could be wrong on that but i believe it's 120 uh, 17 by 75 beadlock capable wheels. Those are new for us. Uh, it's got the two to seven two select track full time four wheel drive system, which is going to be new for us in the Rubicon. 220 amp alternator, which you could get. Uh, 373 gear ratio, which is strange, but we're getting that. That way we don't rip off or rip apart our Dana 44 wide tracks. 392 badge. Of course, this one's going to come with the 4G LTE Wi Fi hotspot. Five years of Sirius XM. A lot of the standard stuff right there, you can see the big option for the 6.4 SRT Hemi. Um, eight speed auto, of course the heavy duty eight speed torque fly we've been talking about. It does come standard with the 8.4 radio, the premium auto group or audio group. So that does come with the uh, Alpine subwoofer 8.4 Uconnect uh, 4C, which is a great touch screen, works really well. One of the things I wasn't really happy about, but you have to get it with it, is the adaptive cruise control with stop. You have to get advanced brake assist uh, and the advanced safety group. Uh, not things that I really want to get on mine, but you know, you got to pay to play. This may just be a launch edition thing, or it may be standard features that they have to have to pass safety regulations. So nevertheless, we went ahead and took the order on this one. It's got the LED light group, of course. Um, all the other stuff's kind of standard right here. It's got blind spot and cross 
path detection, which I really didn't want, but obviously can't get away from it. It does come standard with the body color three-piece hardtop. Now on mine, you saw from the order list, I didn't actually get the uh, one-touch sky or the one-touch sky view. I don't necessarily like that uh, top. It's just not anything that really appeals to me because if a uh, limb was to come through whenever I take it riding, and yes, I will take this one up in the mountains, uh, that'd just be an extra big cost. I don't have to worry about it. I'd rather have a scratch than a tear. So obviously the body color fender flares, We've got the bronze Jeep badging, bronze tow hooks, bronze trail raider badge, bumper module, um, cargo ties, everything like that. It's pretty basic. We got the seven inch cluster display. It's the TFT, so it will have a couple extra little things in there for us. Cold weather group standard. Uh, Dana M210, M220s are standard wide track axles, Dana 44 HDs, like we have in our Rubicons now. Um, LED lights are standard on this one. Electronic roll mitigation, obviously it's gonna be a little bit different than what we have now. Engine oil cooler standard. Let's see, anything else? It looks all just about standard for what we have on a normal Rubicon. Let's see. All these options looking pretty standard. It comes with heated seats, heated steering wheel, uh, hood insulation. There you'll see the hood with air intake scoop, illuminated cup holders, which I believe I have on mine. I honestly can't remember. I don't look at the cup holders too often. Leather trim bucket seats. Those are those are standard for this one. LED lighting group, like I said, standard. There you see the BF Goodrich KM2 tires monotone paint Mopar custom shop module I'm actually not sure what that is if anybody does know what that one is right there it says X X A A I could have clicked on it to see I didn't think it was on the computer but I'm not exactly sure what that one is let's see what else we've got off-road pages off-road plus obviously standard for 2021 Rubicons anyway so of course it's going to come on the 392 package you got Park Sense rear park assist system, which didn't want, but like I say, you got to get all this stuff anyway. Power heated mirrors, premium door trim panel, push button start, obviously. Uh, you do get remote keyless entry, remote proximity keyless entry, remote start, all that's standard. Rock rail standard, Rubicon 392. Uh, Rubicon 392 hood decal standard, Rubicon 392 suspension standard, safety group, like I say, didn't want to get that, but you have to get it. Select speed TM control, so that's going to be your uh, crawl control, essentially. And C, I don't even know how to say that. It's uh, categorized as the XSM SEPA interior accents, if anybody knows what that is. Let me know. I'm sure it's something to do with the bronze interior uh, trim. Then here's some of the other stuff that we've got here. Like I said, there was five pages of it, but most of the stuff seems pretty standard. Of course, there are a few big things. Uh, steel bumper groups. So it's got steel front and rear bumpers. Okay, so this is a big thing right here. It is labeled as XBQ, steering wheel mounted shift control. So we'll get the paddle shifters there. Steering wheel mounted controls, you can't beat that. And everything else is looking pretty similar. Traction control, torx kill, or torx tool kit. All of our skid plates that we've come to know. True lock front and rear light axles. You connect 4C, like I said before, with nav display, garage door openers. So we are getting the intermittent uh, windshield wipers as well. Wheel, wheel flare, daytime running light, the parts module, or module. Wizard black instrument panel bezel, bezels. I'm not sure if, uh, I'm not sure if that's standard or not. It looks cool like that anyway. Uh, Wrangler decal. And that really, that really sums it all up, guys. So like I said, this is our order list. Doesn't show like 
there's too many options. And of course, I work here at Tri Cities Dodge Tri Cities in Kingsport, Tennessee. If you all would like to place an order, comment below. I'll try to get an order in for you. Don't know how many allocations we'll get. But, and then here's the five page of standard features that come on this one. Some of them are options apparently on, you know, most of the Rubicons, but not now. So if you guys will hang with me real quick, we'll go in here and we'll put all these options on, uh, let's say a Rubicon 3.0 liter. So the 3.0 is a $4,500 option. The eight speed HP is a $1,500 is a $1,500 option. Then we'll put all these other options with it and see how close we can get to a price. I think it'll come out in the mid sixties. Probably I ordered one like this last month. Um, and then we'll see what we can add for the 6.4, the extra parts that they're gonna be adding and give it a guess for the price. I mean, obviously we don't know, like I said, I ordered mine with all zeros next to the price, next to the options, everything. So we'll see. I mean, we're willing to pay whatever, I guess, but I hope Jeep doesn't know that. Hopefully they cut it easy on us, but we'll find out. So hopefully you guys can see this right here. Uh, trying to build one out here to get an idea for the price. And I ordered the satin black grill, integrated off-road camera. Got this one in Stingray, even though it looks like silver. And body color fender flares. I did the extra uh, expense for the fancy wheels because I'm sure our wheels are not gonna be cheap with the uh, optional beadlock or beadlock capable. On mine, I just got the body color three-piece hardtop. For the interior, I did go with the premium leather. Uh, so. That's an extra $1,595 option there. We got the Uconnect 4C, got the Alpine uh, sound system with the subwoofer. I got the all-weather floor mats added in, plastic door sill guards, uh, remote start, remote uh, keyless entry. Oh, I didn't have remote start click. So I did add in the $1,800 or $1,900 premium audio group Advanced safety group, like I talked about, didn't really want it, but you have to get it. Trailer tow group, because I did get that on mine, 795 option. Safety group, which was 895. LED light group, 1295. Steel bumper group, front and rear, 1645. Cold weather group, gotta add that in there, 995. For the powertrain, like I said I would, I ordered the, or I clicked this one with the 3.0 liter turbo diesel, 4,500 bucks and then the eight speed eight HP 75 transmission is 1500. And just like with the uh, 392, the Eco Diesel comes standard with 373 gears. So it shows the total price at 65, 685. And of course that's with the basically six grand in motor and transmission options over top of the 3.6 and adding in all of our features that we will be getting. Um, I did add in the front facing camera, I believe, let me see. Yeah, integrated camera. Okay, so just to give us an idea, if it was just a six grand option on top of the 3.6 liter and the six speed automatic, um, we'd be right at the 65, 685. Now, obviously, um, you've got to count into effect the parts that they're gonna be taking out of it for the price increase. So it's not just gonna be, hey, this is a normal Rubicon, let's add 2,500 for the price uh, on the lift. I'd say they'll be 1500 something like that because of the difference in what they are taking off. But if I was to give it a general idea, a good guess, I estimate low 70s. I'd say base price would be 69, 999 uh, or 70 grand. And then with just a few options, we'll easily be, up, be able to go, you know, mid to upper 70s. And that's just my guess. I honestly hope it stays in the low 70s, but we'll find out soon enough. All right, guys, that's it for today. Thanks for sticking with me. Uh, hopefully you got a little bit more information than what you had before on ordering these, the prices, the options, stuff like that. It's definitely an eye-opener for me. Like I said, the price has still not been revealed yet, so as soon as I get the price, I will definitely keep you guys updated. As always, like, subscribe if you like some of this content. If you have any questions, any suggestions, please leave it in the comments. Let me know. I'll put my Instagram below. I can get back to you a little quicker on there. But uh, until next time, take it easy.